efficiency. I, I believe meat is super good for us. It's yeah. very important for a yeah. healthy brain, healthy everything. Right, all the nutrients and yeah. minerals yeah. and yeah. like everything. Yeah, you, you really, I mean, the vegetables, there's place for vegetables, but totally. the more I study nutrition, the more I understand that there is anti-nutrients in the vegetables and we gotta be careful. Karen, wow, nice right. you too. Got your wings, don't worry. Honey. Thank you. I need to hide my car. Aw, <laughs> she's so sweet. I made a friend at the farmer's market. <laughs> Shout out to Maya. <laughs> Do I look good? Yeah. Maya? What is up, YouTube? <laughs> I can't intro this. We're at the farmer's market. It's more for me, but Chris got his meat, so he's very happy. I'm trying to intro your video. This is yours. No, it's your video. I just said, what is up, YouTube? Why? This is yours, <laughs> that Chris is gonna buy a cow. So well, I gotta buy a deep freezer if first. You're a vegan, I'm, I'm just gonna start ordering from the farms. <laughs> this meat's so much better, so much healthier. I'm just mm. gonna find these people and be like, yo, I want five chickens, the livers, the hearts, a full cow, <laughs> and I'm just gonna have a little cow in my garage in the freezer. That's sad. They cut no. up into wagyu no, beef, no. you get tomahawk steaks, I don't like fillets, anything you want. Like Sounds that. amazing. Cost effective. Cost effective? I don't know. We'll probably share with you, probably Calvin. more expensive because it's actually like pasture raised, like properly treated cows, yeah. not hurdled into a slaughter factory. But better for the world. So we're wait, we're going straight help. because we need to see the market. Oh God. That's mean. Mean. What is up, YouTube? It's been a beautiful Sunday. Calvin fell asleep on the couch. I half fell asleep on the couch. Courtney's making soup. We're barbecuing. We did hot yoga in the morning. We went to the farmer's market. We're just chilling today. So can't, it's okay. also Halloween. We have a bunch of candy at there that we haven't put out for the kids yet. <laughs> or so we're evil. Probably no one's going to come by because we have no <laughs> decorations up either. But you know, it is what it is. Got some awesome meat at the farmer's market though. I got like duck and bison chili. Sorry, what's in? So, fired up to make that. But we're going to be doing a QA today. So, we're going to get to some questions. First one, I'm throwing Courtney under the bus. <laughs> How did you and your girlfriend meet? Oh my god. <laughs> I need to How throw you under the bus. But the qu you have to answer the question. How did we meet? Quick. I slid in his DMs. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you need to know. She hit me up in the DMs and I ignored her for a while. Shut up! You didn't even <laughs> open them, you said. I sent him I three DMs. Three. Did he read all of them? It was right after no. the Olympia, so no. like I was bombarded by shit. It was in 2018, when he got second. When I lost, yeah. <laughs> and she hit me up when I lost. That's the true queen right there. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't see it, and then just the third time I saw it. No, I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty fucking fired up that Courtney King was in my DM. Because he had a crush on I me. I texted my friends, I was like, oh my god, you won't believe who DM'd me. <laughs> <laughs> so, we were both to be embarrassed by the story, but oh. after that, it was history, so. Mm-hmm. Oh, she flew to Canada, though. That's how we technically met in person. Mm -hmm. She flew to me and the meeting. Well, technically, we met in person at <clears throat> the Arnold in 2017 when I was competing, oh. and he was working, and he came by and took a selfie Touché. with me. She didn't even look with me like in the little eyes. hearts and then ran away. I didn't Picture. know who he was. Like I, I, am you know meeting people at an expo. Yeah. So technically, true. we met before. That is true. The first and time before we met I came was to Canada. Before I came to Canada, he's like, "Hey, I need to tell you something." And I was like, "What?" 
And he's like, we've actually met. I was like, you're full of shit, dude. I've never met you. <laughs> I, just, I just started DMing you. He's like, no, we have. And then he sent me that picture. picture. He saved it from 2017. Picture. I'll send the picture to you, Calvin. You can put it up right now on the blog. My face is very skinny. I was I was competing, obviously. So, you're competing um, at that, I know. Yeah. Oh, shit. I, I wouldn't be at a booth. Mm -hmm. That's how we met. Yeah. Good story. Yeah. Next question, you can help us here too. How do you get over late night craving when cutting? My only secret is go to sleep. Chug <laughs> <laughs> water, go to sleep. We're both huge foodies. We love food. No. So my like toxic trait in prep is I eat meal two at what, like 4 p.m. with it this year? How bad is that? I would yes. eat meal two at 4 p.m. I would go to the gym, train for two hours, do an hour of cardio, come back at like 7.38 and have like four meals to eat. <laughs> so yeah. eat every hour and then just go to bed. Yeah. I don't recommend that. That's just what I did at the end when I was eating 1,500 calories. So each meal was like a quarter of a meal for me. But that's what I did and it, worked. it helped. My tip would be to brush your teeth. I know that sounds that's weird. Or mouthwash. <laughs> mouthwash or yeah. brushing your teeth after a meal. Because when you have like minty freshness in your mouth, you're like, well, I'm not going to go eat like something sweet because you have mouthwash or brushed teeth. So that's my tip. Mouthwash is quick. I do that sometimes. Taco Bell or Wendy's? Wendy's. Easy. Babe? Have you had it ever either? I used to have Taco Bell in high school at the movie theater. Like, it was right by Taco the movies Bell. and it was a cool place to hang out. When was the last time you've actually ever had fast food? Oh, God, like, right fast now. food, fast food. I don't know. Quite a few years. Like, McDonald's. Yeah, I don't know. Ten years, maybe? <laughs> Ten years? <laughs> yeah. Like quite a few years. When was the last time I had fast food? 2018? 2019. Well, it depends what you count as fast food. Like Wendy's, McDonald's. Chick fil A. I had Chick fil A a year ago. Yeah, you did have what? Yeah, you had Chick fil A. So a year probably. If you were in bodybuilding, what would be your dream job? I mean, my dream job would be what I do right now, not bodybuilding. Like going to the office at like Raw Revive and like building that company to focus on the marketing and the branding and trying to build like. A community and like something cool that people want to be a part of as well as Seabump Fitness, focusing on my training app with Maddie Milkshake, filming vlogs with Calvin, that kind of shit. You know, content creation, what do I want to be in the face of forever? But the business side of it and the entrepreneurship, that's this is my dream job. And the bodybuilding is like the bonus. So I don't know if that's a fair Port. answer. What would be my dream job? I don't know. I don't know. Have my own cooking show. <laughs> cooking show. <laughs> like on the Food Network? Maybe. Or no, I'm not. I'm not Netflix talented. original, Courtney's cooking. No, it would probably be. <laughs> it's shitty, it's shitty I don't know. I can't answer this right now. It would be more in depth. I could picture that. you, you as a young Martha Stewart. Shut up. <laughs> the next Martha Stewart. Call me Martha, baby. <clears throat> then you just have to get locked up later. Locked up. Wait, so you said knocked up. No, way. locked up. Yeah, you gotta go to prison, babe, <laughs> and own it. <laughs> She's a badass bitch. I know she does like collab with like Snoop Dogg and stuff. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Next. Favorite thing to get at Tim Hortons? You won't be able to answer this. No. Um, honey glazed donut or sour cream glazed donut? Actually Timbits. Timbits for sure. Mm -hmm. Or a bagel belt. Yeah. Those don't know what that is. Bacon, egg, lettuce, tomato. Oh. Pretty fire. Calvin, what's your favorite Mc Tim Hortons? Yeah, you're Canadian. All of it. All of it. Oh no. Sausage Farmer wrap. Sausage Farmer For sure. Good. I just like, I feel like they have, or they used to have really good bagels. They've changed. I don't know if they still do. Would you rather lose the Olympia or never use ketchup again? Obviously never use ketchup, yeah. but that would be hard. It would be a struggle. Was it nerve wracking seeing how on Terrence was at Dio? How has that motivated you? I didn't realize he was so on. <laughs> I didn't really see anyone else when I was up there. I didn't look at it. I actually didn't like the, oh my God, Terrence was better than last year. Like, uh oh, I just was like, I, I felt good and I enjoyed it and I was on stage and I was chilling and I was happy with how I looked and that was like about all I noticed. So no, I had no nerves about anyone. I didn't even notice anyone else. Oh. Come here, puppy girl. Oh, that's a little girl. Here, let's play with the bone. Oh, shit. Don't blow the No, no, no. Okay, next question. Ugh, these questions kill me. What is the best advice you can tell the younger generation? Don't be entitled. Don't worry about what other people think. Don't. 
That's a great one. <laughs> fuck, that's the one that we're fuck all everyone. trying to learn. Myself <laughs> especially, kidding. but literally fuck everyone. If you it's can true. like, if you can actually <laughs> learn like what pieces of your brain are like doing something for someone else or for some other reason, not being yourself, and you can just be yourself. It's harder than you think, but yeah. it's very good. It yeah. kind of reminds me of a, a Buddhist quote. Which is? Something like, do not seek, do not follow in the footsteps of the wise, but rather seek what they sought. So don't focus on like following people's exact steps and doing what they're doing, but try and see what like their motivation is for what they're doing, their passion and what they're chasing. I like and like, if someone has like a vision that they're chasing what they love, like chase what you love rather than just like doing exactly what they're doing. It's yeah. probably a better way to explain it, but it kind of reminds me of that. So not following the crowd. Yeah. Be your own person. What's the thing you missed most when cutting? Not including ketchup. Also, I'm really going to say that part. The thing I missed most, like, I don't know if you mean specific food or the thing, but the thing I miss most is snacking. Yeah, you're like, a snack. I'm you're such a, snack. a snacker. Please. Like, I need to have a lot of fruit in the house, like berries and apples and grapes and shit yeah or we have chips and popcorn too but like i try not to do too much of that but i always yeah. want to just graze every like time i eat i'm like in the cupboards looking for something to snack on yeah you're a little i'm cow. obsessed with eating He's a grazer. <laughs> so i just like being able to do that or also just like when it's nighttime it's like what do i want to eat do i want to wrap do i want this having options it's just nice yeah you're but, definitely more like he's definitely more happy that he can like create meals or oh, eat yeah what he wants to eat rather than like diet but you don't bitch when you're following a diet you're just like Ugh, i'm hungry in your opinion did you bring a better package to the olympia this year or last year that's a good question this year i believe i looked better i had a better body but i didn't peak as good so like the day before i kind of fucked not fuck some things up. I just like played it overly safe and I was a little flat and should have done some things different. Whereas the year before my body wasn't responding as well. So I was able to just like accidentally peak better, but I was a little lighter going to the show and smaller, but because I peaked better, I looked more full. So I looked very similar in both years. I might look a little fuller the year before, but I was bigger this year. So it almost evened out. But I think I was happier with this year. I don't know. Really? I was happy it was this year's Olympia, but last year's package was like, holy shit, I made drastic improvements, I peaked well, like the best it could have been. This year I was like, I could have been better. Like, going back in oh, 24 wow. hours, I could have gone back 24 hours, changed some stuff, and I know I could have looked much yeah, better. Yeah, if you so peaked differently. Knowing that, knowing that is a little frustrating, yeah. but like, that's bodybuilding. Yeah. And I still won, so that's like, even more like motivation for me to be like, holy fuck, next year I know what I need to do, and when we apply it, I'll be even better. Yeah. So it's exciting. All right, we're going to cook some chicken wings, some burgers. She's making some sweet potato fries and we're making dinner. So I'll catch you guys in a minute. All right, so we got a new job. I'm behind the camera now. This is where I've always wanted to be because these kids are bringing the meat out to the BBQ. kelvin has got some Nando's wings right here. These are real wings, these are drumsticks. <laughs> Courtney, what do you have over there? We have some burgers. This is Chris's big daddy one. This is the medium one for Kelvin. This is the baby one for me. We're gonna cook up some chicken and uh, all the wings and have a meat party. That sounds really good. Those are oh even, no, don't say Those aren't even seasoned, those chicken breasts. Um, babe? <laughs> We're supposed to marinate them overnight. You didn't tell me to do that. That wasn't a part of the job. Uh, I made soup and sweet potato fries and vegetables and that's okay. Your job is we'll to season go. them on the barbecue. Yes, let's go. To the barbecue we go. <clears throat> Christ. Okay. This is what Calvin's size fucking five feet look like in my size 13 foot tall. Don't listen to him. <laughs> look at little there. It's okay. Everybody makes mistakes. Okay, well, let's go like this. Put that there. These are huge wings, dude. Those are yours, bruh. Ooh, that's a dead wing. What do you mean it's a dead wing? It's a legit wing. See? Straight up. 
right from the farm. Right from the farm. We'll film it when she actually gives it to her. Yeah. This is Poppy's tonight because it's Halloween and she can't have candy. So we give her a wing. She loves it. Here's our final product for dinner. This is how we like to do dinner. Courtney normally roasts a bunch of veggies, sweet potato, and then we leave it out on a platter. You come take as much as you want, fill your paper plate because we still have paper plates. <laughs> Grab your meat from the bin. There's no better way to eat than having clean food and just like buffet style feeding yourself. I don't know, it's my favorite way. Maybe because of family dinners or whatever, but it's the best way to do it. So we're gonna chow down. Calvin with piss because we don't have any cheese. We found some vegan cheese in the fridge. I don't know how old that is. I mean, Courtney don't really eat cheese or bread, so we also don't have buns. Because me and Courtney use butter this lettuce as a bun. So we found gluten-free toast in the freezer that Calvin's gonna use as a bun. But we're making do. Thanks, Rosemary. And yeah, this is dinner. It's gonna be delicious, so we're gonna eat. See? Are you ready for the wing? <gasps> what is this? Oh my god. You can eat? Mmm. Mmm. You don't even know how to eat it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there you, you gotta go. give her the end. Okay, she's trying to bite the bone. Oh, yeah. Get in there. Oh, that's good. Mmm. Get the get. There you go. That's the chicken. Oh. Oh shit. Is that a bone? Oh no no no. <laughs> oh no. Okay here. Mommy's gonna do the rest for you because I don't want you to swallow a bony. Yay. Okay. Here. Get this part off. Right here. Go. Mmm. Oh, that's so delicious. Mmm. -hmm. That's so good. What? What's well, more spoiled than you? Close, but I'm not sure about that. It depends on the day. I don't get hand fed chicken wings though. So. Do you want me to hand feed you, babe? Mm, yes. <laughs> Wait, do you actually want to try that? Put your hands behind your back and you have to eat a full chicken wing and I can't help you? No. Why? That'd be hilarious. I'm done. Give me one to answer for you. And then I'm gonna see how close I am to being right. Like his perspective or his something. I mean, I have one that you can actually answer well. Okay, sure. How to get good skin and good physique both together because lifting cause acne. Oh, there's trick or treaters at our door. They're so cute and little. Oh, oh, answer them. no. Okay, how to get good skin. I don't know. I feel like for men, it's just like a. It can be, correct me if I'm wrong, Christopher, I'm not a guy, but like tes like a testosterone issue, like androgens, like your hormones are a little out of balance. I mean, yeah, if you're taking so fun supplements, <laughs> then it's gonna be a, a weird balance. If your estrogen's too high or too low or testosterone's yeah. too high or too low, and the balance between them isn't good, then that can cause acne. If you're natural, then hopefully you're just showering a lot. Even still, if you're putting on a lot of muscle, it can still affect your hormones a little bit. But you should be showering every single time you sweat. And, and using eating. Using proper soaps. And yes, next part, eating is huge. When I stopped eating sugar and processed foods yeah. and shit, my skin got a lot better. 
Because I had bad skin in like grade five. But when I started to eat really clean, my skin cleared up. And if I, I don't even do this anymore, but if I used to like eat fast food a bunch or eat sugar yeah. or all this stuff, my skin would get worse. So people in their off season are like, my skin's getting bad. It's like, well, bro, it's like going to McDonald's every day yeah. for a meal. Eat anti-inflammatory. Just eat real whole foods. You know, your basic but tasty whole foods. Not a bunch of fast food, sugar, <clears throat> treats. That being said, or back to the beginning with the fun supplements, if you're taking too much or bad quality stuff, sometimes your skin can actually be like a message telling you that what you're taking is bad or too much or you should just get your shit checked out. So your skin shouldn't be breaking out into like really bad acne. So be yeah, healthy and just like a reflection of what's going on in the inside. Would you rather have a huge forehead or have eyes really far apart? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not answering Easily that. Easily a huge forehead because I like I'm wearing hats. I'm not answering that. I'd wear a hat. <laughs> imagine having eyes really wide apart. Mine are already too close together. I can imagine too wide apart. Your eyes are not close together. They're not too close, but they're like on the smidge of being. You can't put this in there. What if there's someone with a really big forehead or eyes I said I'd close rather or far? Forehead. No, I, they're gonna feel we're, insecure. We're talking about like a 12 inch forehead or like eyes on the side of your head, like a fish. Not like. So like a character, a cartoon. Yes, it's a joke. <laughs> God. Courtney, you asked no her, would you rather? Well, like that character. doesn't make sense in the real world. <laughs> no one specified a fucking character, a fish or whatever the hell you just said. It. Fish. That's what he said. <clears throat> eyes like a fish. Or a poppy. Where's poppy girl? Oh, this one's good. Girl split for the sebum program. Girlfriend can't keep up with the stuff off season stuff. Well, I'll say off season stuff. Courtney, do we have a girlfriend split coming up? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, maybe I'll add to the sebum program for the women. Watch out. Uh oh. Okay, you can try this one. Okay. I don't even know the answer. Kind of. What has been the hardest mental challenge for you, and how did you deal with it? Oh. I mean, let's be honest. No. No, not just like your, it's not just like health. It goes a lot deeper. It's, I, I personally think for Chris, the hardest mental challenge and him staying on top of it is um, his own self. As far as like him needing to be better and better and better, which isn't a bad thing because when you're at the top, the only person to beat is yourself. But I feel like um, that would be your biggest challenge. Knowing that you have to like Take the be pressure better. I put on myself? The pressure you put on yourself. Even though pressure is a privilege. privilege. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'll just put that in there? No, but seriously. Well, that's why I made these shirts though, because the perspective was like, I put the pressure, it stresses me out, but it's like, no, like it's a privilege creating something. But that doesn't mean well. he's not human and he still doesn't have moments of being like, fuck, this is hard. Like, I like if I don't show up or if I don't look like, if I don't keep pushing and like not breaking, you're gonna get kicked off the mountain. But you're not. Oh. Sorry. Is that, did Another, I get it right? It, yeah, yes, yeah. I mean, in my own words. My, like most consistent, hardest challenge he yeah, has, the pressure I put on myself and needing to be better. But when I think of like a moment, it's my health. Yeah, yeah mo small moments. Yeah. And that, that question leading into that, have you ever experienced a specific time that almost made you quit? Every week, every prep. <laughs> 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 Pretty much. But the most closest moment to quitting was literally sitting in most of Ian's kitchen and Ian telling me he doesn't think I should compete anymore after 2018 Olympia. And I got like actually sick. And he was like, I think you got to quit bodybuilding. And I was like, fuck. And that was like the hardest time. But we came back and we won three Olympias, so <laughs> <laughs> that's behind us. If you had a small budget, hey Chris, just wondering if you had a small budget, what would your meals for a day be? Oof. Eggs and toast, or eggs and oatmeal in the morning. It would be basic, simple and clean. Eggs and oatmeal or eggs and toast in the morning, because eggs are cheap. Oatmeal's cheap, toast banana? is cheap. Throw in a banana or something? Yeah, banana if you want. Ketchup on that, of course. Meals would be white potato. I don't know if it's just cheap here, but when I was in college, we were in like the potato capital of the country. And you could just buy like a 10 pound bag of potatoes for like $3. And we would just buy that and bake it up and make fire meals. 
I would mix chicken breast with chicken thighs. So I'd like bake them together because the chicken thighs were cheaper, but I didn't want that much fat. I would get lean ground beef instead of extra lean and I would drain it in like a pasta drainer with hot water to get more fat out. Uh, I'd eat a lot of tuna, a lot of sriracha and rice. Rice, cheap. rice, rice is cheap. Bags yeah, of too. rice. Big old bags of rice. Go to Costco. What else is cheap, simple uh -oh. and cheap? Is there any more candy? We're the worst. Are we out? Oh my god, I don't know. It's Halloween, by the way. If I didn't say that, and we bought a bunch of candy at Target, but maybe we did not get enough. I think you gotta go around the public and get more candy. What time is it? It's only 7.40. Holy shit. Whoops. We give them protein bars. <laughs> Put some vital protein bars out right there. That's all we have. Bye guys. <laughs> They're just like, <laughs> I'm like, oh. Are we done? Uh, maybe. I think we have to go get more candy. Any merch coming soon? Yes. First week of December is the next drop. Biggest drop yet. We got some three peak comebacks and a lot of. Comebacks. Ooh, let me let me read this one. Do you prefer being alone during prep, or do you like having people around you to help? I can answer that for him. I already know the answer to that. <laughs> <laughs> He's a lonely little old man. He likes I like to be both. in his element. I he like to be de alone. Definitely space, though. For I sure. definitely I need I need moments. I'm an introvert at heart. So when I'm like, a, like around a lot of people sometimes, I need like no one in the house. Like you can't even be in another room. I need to go somewhere by myself <laughs> and be alone and just have no one around. So, and it was hard this year. It was Calvin in my face and Melissa and Ian were living here. And Courtney, Courtney's honestly the easiest because she'll just leave when she knows. <laughs> you need to be alone, I'm gonna leave. And she'll just like be gone. I do, I know. And I some, know. sometimes it's so weird, but if I'm like alone in the morning making breakfast, and like listening to a podcast or something, I'm so at peace, but there can be nobody in the house. I don't know why, it's just my introvert at heart. For 2020 Olympia, he would get up early, grab his shaker bottle, go downstairs, do cardio, and the when he was done with cardio, I would go do cardio, and he was like upstairs, he had his sh Naruto on, he was making breakfast really slow. Kelvin like sleep. Yeah, Kelvin was asleep. <laughs> Could be up till 4 a.m. editing. Or watching war movies. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, very we had a good dynamic in 2020. I, I, enjoy, I enjoyed 2020 the most. Yeah, it was fun. It was really fun. Prep? Yeah, maybe. It was fun. I enjoyed this Olympia the most, but that prep was really good. Done? Do you want me to answer one more? Not me, but like, can I just pick one? Because I'm sure there's like a juicy one that you're skipping over. <laughs> you want me to go to all of them? Oh, yeah. Go to your question box. Urgh, hold on. Um, okay, ready? Here we go. Quick fire. Are you answering or am I? It's a quick fire, I don't know. Would you rather never compete again or always come second? Never, never compete. compete again. Would you, okay, this one. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking about doing the Arnold Classic. Me? Yeah. No. What did your parents think when you first got into bodybuilding? Supportive? No, nah, they were skeptical, but when they saw us on stage, they were very supportive. And like how happy we were and yeah. like, the passion and like effort we've been putting into it, they were yeah. really supportive, yeah. Favorite food? Sandwiches. Sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> <You're sick. laughs> Wraps as well, right? Do you watch NFL? Nope. Favorite pre-workout? Savage. <laughs> Mine. How old are you? 26. 26. February 2nd, 1995. Don't tell people that. Sorry. That's it. Quick fire is over. That was it? Yeah. That was the easiest question. What? How old you are you and do you watch NFL? <laughs> of course you know the answers to that. Well, I'm trying to make them short, not explaining questions. Poppy, like, do you watch the NFL? No. Do you want the Atlanta Braves to win the Major League Series? Dad doesn't know what he's talking about. But yes. What kind of yoga pose is that? Vinyasana. Gosh. <laughs> Vinyasana. I love you so big. Daddy loves you so big.
forever. <laughs> okay, are we done? Oh yeah, that's good. Okay, say goodbye. Okay, it's gonna be wrapped on this video. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed a mix of a vlog and a Q&A and Courtney oh. taking over. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Don't be mad at me, you guys. I was trying to give you more. He was gonna cut it short and I was like, we gotta keep going for the children. <laughs> right? Yes, you get a lot of food. You're feeling slap happy, eh? <laughs> oh, that burger girl. really got your fire. Oh, up. yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna wrap this up. No, guys. It was on your attempt of making a Canadian oh yeah. Oh yeah. Eh? <laughs> Yo, let's hear your best Canadian impression. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> she can. No. Try. I hear you two I fucking guys do it all the time. Oh yeah, bud. <laughs> that was good. That was good. I need to hear a sentence. I need to hear oh yeah, fuck yeah, oh, bud. God. Just ripping I it down the whole thing. The boys came down the laneway the other day. <laughs> The boys came <laughs> 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 Okay, we're done. I'm getting hot. Yeah, I'm I think that, like the meat's just like, <laughs> like that. You gotta chill with that the comments. Oh my god. Oh god. god. Okay. okay. Crop it, end it. <laughs> However you end these things. See you later. <clears throat>